today we are getting the first badge for the new Jeep. That's right. First badge, new Jeep. Let's go. Today, we are getting the first badge for the new Jeep. That's right. First badge, new Jeep. Getting creative. Getting creative. Yeah, yeah. Because how you feel is as a result of what you've been offering. And there is a momentum already underway. You know about momentum, don't you? If you get moving in a direction and momentum is happening, you're not going to stop all of a sudden. And if you do, it's a problem. It's a brick wall or a tree or a cliff. In other words, you really don't want to stop momentum suddenly, but you do want to get your momentum moving in the direction of what you are wanting. And it is possible at the same time, that you have momentum going in the direction of things unwanted you can begin momentum in the direction of things wanted and that's something that we want to emphasize with you in a strong way here today you are source energy in physical bodies and you have a strong momentum of well-being going before you came into these physical bodies that's a powerful momentum that momentum will carry you on into eternity that's the vibration that is really who you are. It is a vibration of well-being and you can tap into it anytime you choose to with a little bit of attention and a little bit of desire to feel good and some willingness to do whatever it takes to feel good. You cannot be a sloppy thinker. You can't just be one who runs around and observes what is and comments about it because that will keep your vibration all over the place. It will cause you to activate within yourself on a daily basis. So many contradictory vibrations that you never really get a bead on your path of least resistance. Your path of least resistance is being offered to you, but you can't find it because you're swirling in the confusion of all of the things that you are randomly focused upon. And that's because we love you so much. You know what's coming next after we say that. <laughs> that's because you are such avid observers of what is. Somebody has convinced you that the reality of what is, is what matters. And we say that's old news. What is, is old news. What is, is old news. But as you keep focusing on what is, talking about it, blogging about it, joining chat rooms about it, talking to your girlfriends about it, or your boyfriends about it, or anybody about it, as you talk about what is you just hold yourself in that holding pattern where what you prefer cannot be seen by you oh it's being revealed to you oh the path is there for you all kinds of forces are moving things into place we love you so much but it seems so odd to us with all of the obvious signs that you do not see them because you're not in the receptive mode you're looking for trouble rather than solution you're looking for problem rather than solution you're you're amplifying questions rather than expecting answers and of course you're not doing this all the time there is so much in your world that is working well but you know what a lot that is working well is working well for the same reasons that a lot is not working well in other words, if there's something good, you observe it and more good comes. If there's something not good, you observe it and more bad comes. In other words, you're sort of, you're sort of observing, you're observing reality. And in what you came here to do was to create reality. Not one of you said, I'll go see what that got going on. Sort it out. Oh, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. I'll sort reality into piles, good things, bad things, Democrats, Republicans. Good things, bad things, good things, bad things, good things, bad things. And we say in your sorting process, you make yourself a vibrational match to all of it. And then you keep getting all of it. 
and so what you want to do is care about how you feel so quickly you've been listening to us for a while you were source energy before you came into this body and the larger part of you still is source energy part of you came into this body where you are sifting and sorting and observing and creating so as you're sifting through the data you are coming to personal conclusions about what you would prefer and those preferences those conclusions those desires matter so much because you are the creator of your own reality so you're launching these rockets of desire and the reason we call them rockets of desire is because you focus and we amplify but in most cases you are not right now a vibrational match to what you just ask for but the larger part of you is so you really just have to decide how can I how can I be more of a vibrational match to what I want and less of a vibrational match to what I don't want or how can I be more of a vibrational match to what's coming and less of a vibrational match to what is or how much of what is do I want to continue to be a vibrational match to and what that now is that I'm experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis do I want to cease being a vibrational match to and the answer to that is focus just focus and feel focus and feel focus and feel and most of all care about feeling good so one last thing we want to tell you and then we'll open it to talk with you about whatever you want to talk about when the cork bobs on the surface of the water that's its natural buoyant state and in this analogy of vibration we want to say that's a high frequency there's no resistance the cork is bobbing on the surface where it naturally is and that's who you were when you were born that's who you will be when you make your transition to non-physical it's who you are when you are joyful it's who you are when you're appreciative it's who you are when you're happy it's who you are when you feel passion it's who you are when you feel eager so that's naturally who you are and that's naturally where you will be unless you're doing something to hold the cork under the water it matters to know that because you don't have to run around trying to find things to feel good about just stop looking for things to feel bad about that really is the solution the good stuff is dominant the good stuff is abundant the good stuff is natural the good stuff is who you are it's natural for you to prosper it's natural for you to feel good you just got to stop doing that thing that causes you to hold yourself in the non receptive mode in the mode where you can't find the clue where you can't feel your way on this winding fabulous adventurous path of least resistance so if we can convince you and words don't teach we'll point it out to you and then life will show it to you in a way that you will really know it to be if we can convince you that you know what you want you've been asking for it and that it exists in a vibrational state we've been calling that vibrational state your vortex get in the vortex we said until you could hardly stand to listen to us anymore <laughs> there's a vibrational reality that if you can sync up with it then all those things that you want will come into your experience in a way that you can experience the full manifestation of them so we want to talk about what manifestations really are because you live in a physical world where you're used to looking around at stuff and you think that all of this stuff is manifestation and it certainly is but we want to point out to you that there is vibration and then there is thought and that thought is a manifestation of vibration because once you're having a thought about it you've turned the vibration into something perceivable into something understandable into something conceptual into something into something so there is vibration and then there is the manifestation of the thought and once and that's momentum and once there is a manifestation of a vibration into a thought then there can be a manifestation into a word language is a further manifestation isn't it the thoughts that occur to you are manifestations and it means that momentum is underway so there is vibration and then the manifestation of thought big time important and then the manifestation of word and then action and then all that stuff and what goes wrong for so many of you 
is that you want to go from the launching of the rocket which is the vibration all the way to the full manifestation of it and you're not willing to let the momentum the natural momentum of the laws of the universe have their gestation time you don't plant corn in the field and then that day demand that it show itself to you <laughs> come out come out now dinner's in an hour and we need you now <laughs> you understand that there is a process and it's a sure process and those who have watched it know what it is and there is a sure process for you too there's a sure process from you sifting through contrast and and coming to desires that are you're not manifested that are not yet manifested in the full-blown see it hear it smell it taste it touch it fashion but it is a reality and if you don't stomp on it and kill it with your disgust at it not being everything that you need it to be right now all right corn then just stay there <laughs> stay there and I will not water you I will not tend to you I will not like you anymore you disgust me <laughs> because you will not be what I need you to be today if you accept that you have planted the seed in very fertile vibrational soil and that the energy that creates worlds is on it and that it is in the state of becoming and that the work is not its becoming because it is becoming look around you at all that has become you don't need to worry about this your earth spins in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets and it's not because it's on your to do today list in other words there are forces there are energies there is consciousness there is well-being and it's all for you so this vibration is in good hands the question is how far from the receptive mode are you are you going to be there to receive the vibration into the thought and when you do are you going to revel in the momentum of that manifestation so vibration and thought emotion emotion is a manifestation the way you feel the way you feel in fact emotion is the most important manifestation that you ever live and and you can understand this clearly it's because every single thing you want no matter what it is an object of attention a relationship that lover you're looking for pile of money condition circumstance everything that you are looking for you are wanting it because you believe you will feel better in the having of it when all along the feeling was right there vibration thought feeling right there right there right there so if we can get you hooked on the manifestation of the feeling if you can count your success in the manifestation of the idea and the feeling of that and stop taking score about how long it's taking the corn to get out of the ground where you can eat it instead revel in the momentum of this manifestation it won't be long before you will have maintained a steady vibrational pattern of positive expectation and the yield from that kind of vibrational crop is unspeakable it will feel to others who watch you that you are indeed the blessed one most everybody you know will come to hate you <laughs> it'll be hard for them to take how well your life goes with seemingly so little effort and when they say what have you done to deserve that and you try to explain to them well there's this vibration <laughs> that manifests into a thought and a feeling and I'm hooked on that that's all I care about holding myself in the receptive mode so I can hear the song that I want to hear and feel the joy that I feel when I hear the song they'll say <laughs> you can hear them can't you <laughs> that's a manifestation we're eager to talk to you about anything that you want to talk about nothing is off limits you will notice a perfect unfolding as we move along here there will be momentum it is our knowing that together 
will take thought beyond that which it has been before and you will be right in the middle of that newfound manifestation that we all find as vibration moves into a new place you're doing extremely well and we don't mean to imply in any way that you're not getting it right because you are but we are wanting to imply well we'll just say it bluntly you're not having nearly as much fun as you intended you're taking life way more seriously and it's because you're all tripped up on what's manifesting in terms of the stuff instead of what's manifesting in terms of the feeling and sometimes when we say that our human friends worry that we're just trying to get you to feel good without the stuff and that isn't our plan at all we know that unless you feel good without the stuff the stuff that you want can't come 